Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we are going to talk about two very important instruction of the Docker file that is CMD and entry point. So we already discussed about uh, very important instructions like first instruction that we talked about the from. So what is the use of this from instruction? Basically, if you want to import any mini OS, that is where we use the from instruction where you can use any mini OS or any already customized image if you want to import it, right? So we use something like Ubuntu colon 1804, right? So this is this particular version, we wanted to use it. So this is very important from instruction. Then after that, we also talked about the run instruction. So if you want to install any dependencies, any dependencies required for your application, that is something you can install using run instruction. Then the next instruction we talked about is a copy instruction. So if you want to copy it from something from your host machine to inside the Docker image, that is something you can specify using copy instruction. Then we talked about the expose instruction. So basically expose instruction is used if you want to open the port for your container, right? And then we talked about the CMD instruction. So basically CMD or entry point, okay? Both instructions can be used. Both instructions can be used to basically specify an starting point of your application as soon as from this uh, Docker image, when we are going to start the container, uh, what is the first command that you want to run it? Okay, that is something we can specify under CMD instruction by using CMD instruction or an entry point instruction, okay? But there is a one slight difference we have in both this command. That is something we are going to discuss about in this, right? So let's see how we can do this. Let me just first talk about the CMD instruction. So both CMD and entry point instructions are used to specify the starting point of your application with a slight difference. So in a CMD instruction, we specify some your uh, utility through which you want to run your application, let's say Python. And then we let's say specify, let's see your application starting point is app.py, right? So this is how you can specify it, right? Now, as soon as we start a container from the image, this is the command will get triggered. But in a Docker run command, in a Docker run command, we have a provision where we can, after providing an image, okay, after providing an image, we have a provision to provide or pass some argument at the end. Okay, let's say echo test. This is the argument I'm pass passing. Okay, so if you pass echo test, and if you have used the CMD instruction inside your uh, Docker file, basically whatever you are passing here, that will be overwritten here. Okay, whatever you have, Python app.py, this will get overwritten with echo test. This is what happens when we use a CMD as an instruction. But if you have used an entry point, okay, let's say if you have an entry point instruction, so both entry point and CMD can be used to specify the starting point. So if you have used the entry point with a similar argument, what will happen is, and if you are passing something, okay, if you have uh, created a Docker image with an entry point and while creating a container, you are passing something. So if you use entry point, that gets appended, okay? That gets appended, okay? Let me repeat once again. If you use a CMD instruction and while creating a container, if you are passing something that gets overwritten, okay, that gets overwritten. And if you have used an entry point instruction, in that case, what happens is when we use an entry point instruction that gets appended. So this is the major difference we have that CMD data gets overwritten or the command gets overwritten entry point, it's get uh, appended. So let's quickly see practically how this is happened. So let's go back to our lab. So basically here we have an already uh, Docker installed. So what I'll do, I'll just write one simple Docker file. So we already know how to write a Docker file. So I'll use some uh, uh, basic image. Let's use Ubuntu 1804. I'll just use Ubuntu 1804. And then I'll directly use an CMD instruction, okay? Where what I'll do, I'll just use some uh, command, let's say echo. Hello world. This is the what I'm specifying, right? And I'll simply just save this Docker file and let's build the image Docker build hyphen T. I'll just create it as a test colon 1.0. 
perfect so and then specify the docker file context if you run it first of all it will pull the ubuntu 18.04 and then it will build the image so it's a small image it will quickly show you that perfect so it's uh, ready now if i do docker images we can see images test 1.0 image is ready so let's create a container so if i do docker run uh, hyphen d i'll just provide the name as a test and then let's provide our image name that is test colon 1.0 so now if you see while running the container i'm not passing any argument so let's run it docker is ready now see the logs of that docker okay because we are inside our docker file we have used echo hello world so let's use docker logs test this is our docker uh, container name so you can see hello world got printed right so that means whatever is specified in the cmd instruction that got executed and we got the output but now let me do one thing let me first remove this container and now just start the container and pass some argument let's say i'm just passifying echo hello now this time I'm doing a hello india now if i run it container got created and now if you do docker logs test and this time you can see the difference this time we are getting an output as a hello india so that means what happened whatever we passed while running the container that got overwritten okay whatever we specified here so that means when we are using an cmd instruction if you pass something that gets overwritten if you don't pass okay this is something will be used now let's talk about the entry point so what i'll do i'll just say in the same docker file instead of a cmd instruction this time i'll use an entry point instruction okay entry point now let's save it and build the docker image this time i'll build with a 2.0 test colon 2.0 so let's run it you can see it got built so let me remove the old container that we created with the name test and let's run the container now docker run hyphen hyphen name test i'll use hyphen d here to run this is in the background mode and then provide the image so this time we are image we are using is test 2.0 perfect so let's run it container got started if you see the logs docker logs test we got the hello world message that means when we don't pass anything the behavior of cmd and entry point both are same right so now let's remove this container and then now let's try to run this with some we pass something okay let, this time i'll pass let's say hello india okay so if i just run it container started see the logs this time docker logs test now this time you can see already there was a hello world that is something we specified in the docker file and now we passed hello india that also got appended here right so that's the difference major difference we have in a cmd instruction data gets overwritten when we pass at runtime and in the entry point instruction data gets appended so i hope this is clear for everyone the difference between cmd instruction and entry point instruction so now someone might have a question like what is the best way of using it so that is something we are going to see so the best way we have is use both the instruction okay and how we can use it so your command you can use is provide it an entry provide it in the entry point and then whatever argument you want to pass it that is something you can specify in the cmd let's say hello world is your argument so now what will happen when we build the image if you don't pass anything it will simply run echo hello world but if you pass something while running the container the cmd instruction will get overridden right so this is the best way of using it so let's build the image again this time i'll build it with 3.0 so it got built now let's remove the old test container and let's create a new one now this time instead of a 2.0 let's use a 3.0 and for now for the first time let's not pass anything if you run it container got started see the logs of the container and you can see we got the hello world message right so let me remove the container and let's create again container and this time I'll, i'm passing something again let's say i'm passing hello india so we passed it we ran it now see the logs docker logs test so this time you can see earlier there was a hello world now whatever we passed that got overridden so that's it for this video i hope everyone understood the cmd instruction versus entry point instruction usage 
So that's it for this video. Thanks everyone.